Assalamu alaikum everyone I hope you're having an amazing day so welcome to another video and in this video I will show you how to install Windows as well as Mac OS in a single drive so let's get started Well, the first thing what you have to do is download Rufus, R-U-F-U-S, and then uh, use your USB as well as uh, your Windows image. You need to see that your partition volume should be GPT as well as uh, it should be UEFI system. And just uh, press next or start. It will take around, uh, as for my system, it took around 19 minutes. Uh, it will take around 12 to 19 minutes yes that's the maximum time it will take to you know to write windows image on your usb so once it's done you are good to go with the windows 10 installation on your mac os dual boot Well, the second thing what you have to do is you have to open your disk utility. Okay, go to a launchpad and then others disk utility. As uh, uh, I have two hard drives, this is my main hard drive where uh, Bixer is installed. So just go to view option and show all devices. Once you are here, then go to partition okay and don't add volume just click on partition and partition is open okay then plus one and as i want to give only 300 gb for my windows i will write as uh, windows and the format will be ms dos fat there is no need to change so 300 gb will be there then i have to do is apply partition yes so it will take around uh, you know 10 to 15 minutes so just do not change anything do not stop anything let it happen well once it done and you need what you need to do is to connect your usb to your system and restart the computer and then once it restarted just uh, press f12 and i will let you know what to select in the next segment Once you restarted, you need to select F12, press F12 and once your boot menu is on, you need to select your, uh, you know, USB drive. Here, my USB is uh, SanDisk, so I will select SanDisk and then once you uh, are on the open core menu, you need to select uh, Windows. Well, there is no need to panic on this screen. What you need is to wait and it will boot. Once you boot, you will have your uh, Windows 10 setup menu. In your setup menu, select language English and then select Windows 10 Pro X64 as we need to install in 64 bit. And then once you are there, uh, format your drive because uh, once you create a drive, you need to format it. Once you format a drive it will go to the main installer the main installer it will took around uh, 20 minutes if it's uh, hard drive and uh, 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes if it's ssd so once you are here you need to 
wait and uh, let it restart this is it in this section Once you restart the system, you need to press F12 again and you, this time you need to select open core. Um, let it boot. Yeah. So just select uh, open core this time and you will have uh, windows in your open core menu. Just press windows. Okay. And um, the, you, now you can continue the installation. At this point your system might restart multiple times so please hang on it depends on your hard drive speed as um, on my hard drive it's a little slow because I'm installing on the same same drive where I have installed Mac OS Big Sur so it may take around 45 minutes so please uh, don't be judge on the speed of the drive of your computer you should stay calm you should uh, just do whatever you can do or you can play a PUBG match if you want to so once it's done you will come to the login screen and you need to just uh, you know select whatever the service as you want i i just set up my account later so this is what you have to do So this is it you have installed windows 10 in your uh, hackintosh and uh, you can just set up you can update your windows whatever you want to do um, initially it will be very slow you just have to wait until it optimize your hard drive so you just have to wait as you can see everything is working and it's activated as well and um, 
just restart one time so that at least you can see that uh, your windows is working and open and it's showing up in your open core menu as uh, you can see now i just restart my windows 10 and initially it took around uh, like five minutes to restart because of the hard drive uh, speed as you can see it's there in the windows menu in the open core menu so just select the windows and then you are good to go your windows will boot up here it is To check if uh, my hacking torch is also working, what I did, I restarted my system and um, I restart to check if my macOS is also booting. So um, as you can see here, I restarted my windows and uh, just wait for the open core menu to show up. as it restarted and uh, my open core is there i selected big sur and wow it's booting so once it's done let us check if uh, it can boot my big sur and uh, you have to be patient in this process as it will take around one hour of your time and it boots up wow so this is it uh, as my mac os big Sur is also booted so i hope you like the video and if you like it please uh, thumbs up click to the bell icon for more tutorials and uh, please share among your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you so much and uh, have a great day